What do we mean by dual degree? So dual degree means that you're going to get two degrees, one from India and one from US. I had a great opportunity to go on an exchange program. I got to go to Italy, France, Germany. First time in my life I saw so many cultures. It was a learning that cannot be described in words and I would want our students to go through that. Could you enlighten us on what they would be studying in the fourth year in Illinois Tech? How would a student typically get selected for this program if the student gets selected for master's degree? It is selective. I'm not saying that any anybody who raises their hands are going to get it i think for a year or the total cost of studying at illinois tech including your living expenses is going to be around $1000 hi everyone today we'll be discussing the 3 plus 1 dual degree program with illinois institute of technology we have with us the director of our ug programs swati swati welcome to the podcast So Swati very first question to you what do we mean by dual degree So dual degree means that you're going to get two degrees uh, one from India and one from US right so the MOU uh, that I'm very proud of that we have signed with Illinois Institute of Technology states that our students of masters union will study for 3 years at our campus in Gurgaon at masters union followed by one year at Illinois Tech in Chicago Correct. right and when they graduate out of this four year program they will get a degree from illinois institute of technology which is depending on the course they are in so if i talk about the data science and ai course mm-hmm. that we have so they get a bachelor of science in artificial intelligence from illinois tech in addition to the degree that they get at masters union which is the bachelor of science in data science and ai from iit guwahati go on So it's just assumed that they have studied for those three years in Illinois Tech through a degree transfer, right? Correct. So and and this is not the first of its kind that's happening in the world. I think uh, in US this is very common where students study at a university for two years, then they take a transfer to another mm-hmm. university. So the credit transfer system works in a way that your credits, whatever you've studied, are recognized across. Got right it. and because our students are already enrolled in the IIT Guwahati course their credits are recognized globally Got and it. those credits get transferred to Illinois Tech making them eligible for the Illinois Tech degree super so uh, could you sort of enlighten us on what they would be studying in the fourth year in Illinois Tech especially in the data science and AI program see the fourth year is when you've done your fundamentals you've done your mm-hmm. data science machine learning ai fundamentals and now you have a choice of doing the electives right so you could if you want to specialize in the uh, computer vision let's say right so you're going to choose those kind of electives if you're going to go deep into let's say llms right and you want to work at mm-hmm. open ai then you choose that but you have enough flexibility of what kind of courses you're going to do in the fourth year Got at it. illinois and so what you alluded to the fact that this is not going to be confined to data science and ai but also open for our other programs hmm. could you talk through what was the corresponding degree that the students will get from illinois tech sure so all our programs whether it's ug in tech and business mm-hmm. whether it's ug in psychology and marketing or whether it's the ug program in data science and ai in all the three programs we are offering the 3 plus 1 dual degree with illinois tech which means that across these three the fourth year can be spent in chicago now obviously the degree that you get will differ if you are enrolled in ug program in tech and business management you get a bachelor of science in business administration from illinois mm-hmm. tech again if you are enrolled in ug psm which is mm-hmm. the psychology and marketing, marketing course, course mm-hmm. you get a bachelor of science in business and psychology got it and then data science and ai as i told you again you get a bachelor of science in artificial intelligence got it so this sounds super exciting it's almost like studying in the illinois tech for four years without having to go there for all four years right now I wanted to understand a little bit on why we chose illinois tech as opposed to uh, any other school in the us or any other country so i'll tell you our thought process as masters union uh, when we were going out to look for partners for such a degree partnership we were looking at a us based um, university and the reason was you know like i have personally been uh, at wharton uh, most of our leadership uh, including pratham comes from us and there is that prestige 
you know that comes yeah. with a us degree and we don't want to deny that so one was that second i think us is also at the forefront of um, innovation yeah. right most of um, whatever uh, technologies uh, you know if i talk about whatever is happening in silicon valley today i think we are still very very yeah. far behind yeah. and no other country has been able to match it so we wanted something that's closer to that ecosystem and hence we were looking for universities in the us right now the second criteria was that we wanted a university where um, it had a diverse range of offerings usually uh, universities have one or two strong programs yeah. and then they don't have anything else but the great thing about illinois tech is that it's strong in business it has that psychology course that we were looking yeah. for and it's also very very strong in tech, tech right yeah. so that whole diverse offering that we were looking for was available at illinois tech plus the rankings it's one of the highly ranked universities in us the placements are one of you know the leading ones so we really thought that this kind of resonates with what masters union is looking for and hence the partnership with illinois tech god no fair i think uh, you know talking about why us and the entire uh, conversation on why that global exposure is critical when i was studying in isb we had partnerships with uh, kellogg wharton uh, london business school and bunch of schools mm -hmm. in the us as well right and we saw the difference because of their global exposure when someone would go for an exchange right? and i think a similar would have been the case for you uh, while being at iit delhi as well yeah i mean i studied for my mba for two years at at wharton in us and that was a different exposure altogether but even my undergrad it's a i had um, a great opportunity to go on an exchange program for 6 months uh, to this beautiful country sweden how did you study <laughs> how did i st i did not i did not exchange programs are not for studying right uh, but how it impacted my personality and the exposure that i got as a 19 year old you know it's 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 very different suddenly i was exposed to this developed nation um you know where the sun sets at 9 pm in the night yeah. so you could do whatever yeah. you wanted to uh, the day was much longer i got introduced to brands like h&m and ikea because these are swedish brands yeah. i mean we all talk about h&m and ikea but very few people would know that yeah. these brands come from sweden yeah. so understanding all of that and then and cleaner air to breathe cleaner well <laughs> delhi at that time was also clean it's it's uh, i'm talking about something which was 15 years ago um and then you know i also got a chance to visit the whole of europe obviously because you are you are on a european visa then you can uh, you can visit all the countries i got to go to italy france germany and then you know first time in my life i saw so many cultures so much you know intermingling uh, of those cultures that uh, it was a learning that cannot be described in words and i would want our students to go through that No, glad that you brought it up because you know uh, my next question was that is it uh, the partnership that has been inked right? Is it only for a one year immersion, or can students who are seeking global exposure but don't want to do it for an entire one year duration mm -hmm. can explore shorter formats? So uh, again, uh, you know, we, when we did this partnership, we were very clear that the some students may not want to spend the whole one year there, right? And they may not want to do it for the degree. but they may want to do it just for the experience or the yeah. exposure right and they may want to come back to india and want to graduate from masters union for that we said that we will offer uh, things like semester exchange so during your tenure here not just the fourth year let's say in your third year you want to spend just one semester at illinois tech you could do that obviously it's not a degree partnership in that case but you get that exposure for one semester other than that you could also do let's say a summer school yeah so for two months you're mm -hmm. going there and then you're coming back mm -hmm. the idea is to get exposure yeah but if you want to go further and get a degree then it's the 3 plus 1 dual degree but uh the the partnership is much much more stronger and beyond the 3 yeah. plus 1 where more and more students can take advantage of the summer programs or some of the courses there and do it for a semester and come back got it and i think uh, we also had a summer program partnership with other schools and we exploring further right uh, yes yes uh, and that is a continuous process our mm -hmm. students have i think 
um last year the first batch ug class of 2027 two students had gone to paris mm -hmm. right and did a summer uh, program there at one of the leading universities uh, recently um our students had gone across pgp and ug our students had gone to um inciard now yeah. inciard is one of the yeah. most renowned names in business schools yeah. right so going there and then uh, some of our students had gone to sd bakoni so these were like short courses yeah. so those will that's a continuous process for us and we have a dedicated team that goes out and fosters these partnerships and creates these opportunities for our students yeah super exciting and uh, you know now switching gears swati to actually trying to be a part of the program right um, i'm sure the selection process would not be easy mm -hmm. so if you could orient us a little bit on uh, how would a student typically get selected for this program if the student gets selected for masters union it is selective i'm not saying that anybody who raises their hands are going to get mm -hmm. it uh, but we have enough seats so the question then boils down to are you capable enough to represent our brand Fair. at this mm -hmm. institute right Fair. uh so and most of the students who make it to masters union i think are definitely capable enough of representing the brand outside but we do look for checks like disciplinary actions right um you haven't done anything during your 3 years at masters union yeah. that makes us feel that hey we are not confident of sending you abroad and representing our brand but other than that we will definitely um do interviews and make sure that the person who really deserves to be there and wants to be there gets there uh, but yeah anything where disciplinary action is involved will have to hold back the student got it and is in the selection process will uh, representatives from the other universities also get involved not really i think who goes from masters union is completely our uh, you, know, you know decision so mm -hmm. it's us who decides uh, and i'm again saying that most of the students if they want to go they can go swati uh, if you could orient us a little bit about the costs that mm -hmm. someone would have to bear, bear uh, for these programs i i understand that studying in the us is not cheap yeah um, but uh, would love for you to talk through this i think for a year or the total cost of studying at illinois tech including your living expenses and all of that is going to be around 75000 okay. dollars mm -hmm. now that's very typical mm -hmm. of uh, anybody who's um, you know who's going yeah, to yeah typically US. 100k per year is the is the ballpark right mm -hmm. typically that's the ballpark so mm -hmm. i know like some of my cousins who've gone and some of the friends who are sending their uh, kids there um it's pretty much around 3 cr that you get mm -hmm. even if you have a scholarship of yeah. 20 25% it's around 3 crores that you end up spending in mm -hmm. us um so what we are trying to say is that this 3 plus 1 dual degree is going to cost you around 1 crore uh right and the same the same same degree that you're getting mm -hmm. uh from Illinois Tech uh by getting the best of both the worlds i yeah. think what we are good at mm -hmm. um and india is a shining star uh, yeah. for the next decade right so mm -hmm. masters union definitely and studying in india for those 3 years definitely has an advantage in terms of your placement opportunities here and your connections and network here but at the same time we let you go there and graduate there and try for placements there as well and illinois has some great placement mm -hmm. record but you can always choose to come back yeah. and i think that's very important because considering the international scenario i see so many students uh, in fact in our pgp we see so many students who uh, who've spent uh, more than a crore on their yeah. masters and are now saying that hey want to come back to india yeah. uh, how do we come back yeah. Yeah. Uh, right so so i think it's a win win opportunity that in approximately total 1 crore as the tuition fee where um, the approximately 45 lakhs is the masters union fee and then 55 lakhs is illinois fee uh, that leads you uh, to a global degree from yeah. illinois tech yeah. glad that you mentioned placement swati uh, and also the fact that there are people who want to come back now increasingly but let's let's assume that <coughs> people want to sit for placements in the us are they eligible for it uh, what are the career prospects that they're looking at so you are a student of illinois tech mm -hmm. when you go there in your fourth year right so if you're graduating from there you are having that degree any support system any ecosystem that's given to their students is also available to you so their career services department is available to you um so you will so if it is a tech degree that you're doing so let's mm -hmm. say if you're doing a bachelor of science in artificial intelligence in us it's called the opt for 3 years which means that you have 3 years till you get your visa mm -hmm. the working visa 
and you're eligible to work for three years till you get a visa. And then within those three years, most likely you will get that visa given mm-hmm. that you've done your degree from Illinois Tech. And then all the opportunities that are there for those students at Illinois are also available f- for you. Got it. So that's that's the thing. If you don't do a STEM degree, which mm-hmm. means that you do, let's say, a business degree there, then obviously you have only one year. Mm-hmm. Uh, but uh, again, uh, if you want to be there, you can crack that placement in one year. Yeah. You can get that H-1B. If not, you want to come back, you're more than welcome to come and if back. If in the right company, I think visas generally are not an issue also. Correct. Right? So most of the time, mm-hmm. the criteria for your visa is your institute. Mm-hmm. and your company mm-hmm. right and if both are of a, you know of a stature that the US government really recognizes yeah. uh, which is true in this mm-hmm. case then uh, getting visa shouldn't be a problem this everything just sounds too good to be true mm-hmm. right I'm excited to be a student here uh, mm-hmm. just that I'm a little too late <laughs> <laughs> Right. Uh, I want to understand how, what was the process of getting this partnership or a- inking this MOU because I see while Indian schools have partnerships mm. Mm. Uh, with US colleges, there's nothing that seems so nuanced. If Correct. you could talk through uh, some of the other partnerships that exist today yeah, yeah. and why is this a little different? See, this is different because this is a dual degree. We mm. are talking about getting a degree from Illinois Tech. And that's not every partnership that exists. Yes, a lot of exchange partnerships will exist. A lot of summer school partnerships exist. And these are all win-win opportunities. But for a brand like Illinois Tech to get associated and granted degree, that comes only with few institutes and Master's Union is one of them. Now that takes a lot of convincing. That takes a lot of credibility. And I think over the past five years of our existence, Mm -hmm. we have built that. If you ask me, Swati, would you have cracked this in your first year of existence? No. Uh, These institutes are very picky. They need credibility. They need to see who's on your board, who's leading the institute. And I think now with a great track record of our leadership, our board people, now these are the partnerships that you'll see, uh, you know, in the future as well. I think there would have been a rigorous vetting process that you would have had to undergo, right? Of course. Awesome. Awesome. Uh, I think uh, this was all that we had to cover. Thank you, Swati. This was very informative. Uh, Hope the audience got their questions answered. If you have any further questions, feel free to check out our website or reach out to the admissions team. Thank you so much.